Welcome everyone, how are you doing? All the eyes on me. <laughs> Today uh, we are going to do something interesting. We are going to do something which is uh, impossible. We are going to show that it's possible. So the challenge is, we are calling it the Matisse challenge. And what is the Matisse challenge? Is to take a random person from the audience, measure the color with OptiShade, and then use Matisse to get staining recipes to match that color. So then, once I'm done, we will ask a random person from the audience to do the same. OK? So I will, I will give a short uh, presentation just to show you like uh, what Matisse is, what OptiShade is. Very short, just to make clear you know, what we are doing. <clears throat> so the topic of this ideas for us is master the impossible and become extraordinary. So Matisse is not a, only a shade matching software. It is something that is changing lives. This tool makes you a very good ceramist and also it brings you closer to natural teeth. So we are not only matching color, we are matching natural teeth, okay? So we started a very interesting journey because we started to, in, to challenge ourselves to do the impossible. So what is the impossible? The impossible is to do a course, right? To do a course and challenge all the participants in the course to match each other's central tooth. That is, that is an impossible task. Not only for me as a teacher, but also for the, for the participants. Why is it impossible? Because as you know, in a course normally, you are trying to match like a previous situation that you solved, right? But we are saying, let's challenge ourselves and match the teeth of each other. So you can imagine how difficult that is. So another thing is, which is very difficult, is not all the people that are attending to a course, and we are calling this the Matisse Challenge course, not all the people are familiar with the ceramic that we are using in the course. That is even harder, right? Because we all know how difficult it is to learn one ceramic system, right? So we are traveling the world and showing to everyone that at this now it is very easy with the help of Matisse software and OptiShade to, to match any tooth like uh, predictably, okay? These are results from courses that I did around the world. So th these were results in, uh, I think if I move like this. So on the left side, you can see results from uh, Kazakhstan. And on the right side, you can see results from Brazil, okay? So on the left side, we use Emacs Ceram, right? And you can see how close we are able to mimic the natural tooth. Okay, so it's not one good result. All of the results are good. Now look on the right side. In Brazil, we use creations at ICT. So also for me, right? I don't know all the systems. I am, I am also following a recipe, but the recipes work. So on the right side, we see results with creations at ICT, okay? So these are close, some results like from closer, so you can match any natural tooth. You can match the opacity. You can match the translucency, the chroma, the hue. You have control about everything. Look, I'm sure matching this tooth without Matisse, maybe you have to do it like three, four times to be able to match it correctly. Look at the difference between opacity and value. So on the body area, you have a lot of value, right? Brightness. And then incisely, there is a lot of depth, translucency. So normally, doing it ourselves, it's very hard, right? So we have to fail a couple of times to understand what to do. Also this, for example. This tooth, right, maybe looks easy for your eyes, but it's not easy. Why? Because this tooth had a value of a bleach color, right? It has a value of a bleach color, but the chroma of an A2. Try to solve it yourself. Good luck. 
Also, what is important to show how the result look like reality, because the thing is that normally we are failing as ceramists in the opacity, right? Because we don't know what to do exactly. The recipes that Matisse is providing is basically only ceramic powders. So we use of any ceramic system, we use all the kits and we give the best possible combination of uh, recipes to match also the opacity. Look at the vividness, the, the aliveness of the restoration. You see, look at the opacity. Like everything is matching perfectly. So that's why I say it's not only color matching that we do, we match teeth. So these are some uh, pictures, me traveling the world and showing, teaching people how to use Matisse and OptiShade. This was uh, in Taiwan, 24 people in a course, incredible. I needed assistance, you know, I had assistance, but it's impossible to do a course with uh, so many people. But also in this course, all the results were incredible. You can, you can see the results of Taiwan on Facebook and also on Instagram. So shortly about Matisse. What is Matisse, right? We started developing Matisse with the idea to give recipes using only ceramic powders. That, is, that was the main like, idea. But now at this moment, it became more than that, right? At this moment, it becomes an ecosystem. Ecosystem of different solutions for the den dental technician. So Matisse means, it's an acronym. It means matching any tooth in shade so easily. So every letter means a word. So we developed it together with Nitin, the engineer and co-founder of Matisse is also here. So if you have later questions, you can also talk with him. We combine technology, intelligence, and accuracy, okay? So let me show you one of the best features of Matisse. One of the most efficient or predictable and easy to use features is the Matisse Staining Studio. Matisse Staining Studio is is a feature that is giving you recipes based on the color of the natural tooth and of the color of the zirconia crown that you measure in the laboratory. So the dentist is taking a photo in the mouth with OptiShade and the dental technician is using an OptiShade in the lab to make a scan of the tooth of the crown on an aesthetic model and we can then calculate a precise recipe. Okay? So let me play this video and you can see how it works. So we support multiple brands. We support more than 20 staining brands. And then it's very simple. You click on the natural tooth, and then you click on the crown, and it measures your recipe. So this feature you can use for almost all your cases. Why? You could basically uh, do the first bake with your own experience. You can make your first bake a little bit brighter, let's say. And then make a picture with OptiShade, upload it in Matisse Staining Studio, and it will give a correction recipe, okay? So it can, create, it can correct mistakes in the process. Another thing what it can do is, it can give recipes for monolithic crowns, right? If you just want to do staining and glazing. Also, another thing that you can do is, you can do microlayering. So you can reduce the framework with, let's say, 0.3 to 0.5 millimeter, stain it, until you have the perfect match with all the details and then continue with ceramic like a little bit transparency like enamel or opalescence and make finish the case. So this is a demo that I did in Brazil where I used, uh, in this case we used Creation Makeup Nail. I'm not familiar with that brand. And I got a recipe for to stain a monolithic crown, okay? The recipe for cervical was Lemon yellow one time and flamingo one time. Okay, that was the cervical recipe. The incisal recipe was olive with gray two to one. Okay, that was the recipe. Okay, so then we painted it and before baking we tried it. Okay, so let me show you what was underneath.
That is the power of Matisse, guys. You know what happens often is it's, it seems unbelievable, unrealistic. But so when you try it the first time and it works, you are shocked. Like, how is it possible? So this quote fits perfectly what we are doing, actually. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. So it, it is kind of, it, it, uh, for people, it's something like magic. So what can Matisse do? I told you before, it's an ecosystem, okay? We provide, we want to create a solution for your everyday work, okay? We want to help you to solve your daily challenges. So the first solution that we have is we, we provided a feature called Shade Guide AI that you can use with JPEGs, okay? You can use JPEG photography with uh, MDP light. So if you use mobile photography, you have to use MDP light to make standardized photos. And you upload these photos in the Matisse software and you can, you can, we can calculate a recipe how to match shade guides. So when we calculate the recipes, you can get a staining recipe or you can get a ceramic recipe. So in this situation, this was Alina's case that she also demoed, uh, I think, yesterday. We used Mio in this case and I will show you the result after. So this feature, today is the premiere, this is the first time you are seeing this. We also added, we're going to add this feature in the mobile app. So for your daily, daily bread cases, simple cases, you can use Shade Guide AI because it helps you to get faster to the color of the shade guides, okay? So how does it work? You select the shade guide type, okay? And then you select the color based on value and chroma. You just look what is the closest value and what is the closest chroma. You select those inputs. So it's A1, right? So we select A1. Staining or layering. Stomp shade, but it's optional. Okay, then then you select, so you select the framework type, what you are going to use. Zirconia, lithium disilicate, and also the thickness. Staining brand, so you select the stains that you want to use, and the ceramic brand. And we, we calculate the recipe based on thickness, so you have to provide the thickness. Okay, there is your recipe. So the dentin, BL1 with A4, wash bake, sunset with cappuccino, and enamel, okay? And these were the uh, results. So the goal of Shade Guide AI is to help you match shade tabs, okay? Even that is some, sometimes very hard to do, okay? So you can match perfectly the shade tab color with the recipes, because the recipes change based on the material you select. So if you use Zirconia A1, you get another recipe. If you choose Zirconia Bleach, you will get another recipe. You see? We can match shade, shade tabs now perfectly. Here, one and two, it's not a problem. What I'm going to demonstrate you today is Matisse and OptiShade together, because that's more predictable, more precise, and you have control about the full process, okay? So I will skip these steps because I will demo it. This was a result by a Ryosuke Shimizu from Japan. He used Eiffel color. It's incredible to see this possible with, with uh, monolithic crowns. So more advanced features are to match teeth by ceramic recipes. So with ceramic recipes, we have uh, the web app, the software in the, on the computer, where we provide ceramic recipes. So you can upload your OptiShade photo, and then Matisse will provide a recipe. And so it will combine recipes based on the natural tooth color. So in this case, you see Cervicleads powered in BL2 with mamalon salmon, I think, nine to one. And then in the middle, it's powered in BL2, powered in BL4, and then Opal Effect Violet. Would you ever think of this recipe? So it's bleach dentines with Opal Effect Violet. So it, imagine what it does with your result. You create, because it's a, it's a bleached tooth, right? It's a bleached tooth, you can see, it's a bright tooth, but it has depth. 
So what the algorithm does for you, it creates the depth by mixing powders. So with ceramic layering, of course, you have full control and match teeth identically. Our newest feature is also to match shade, to match gingiva colors. Look, this was a demo by Kai Saito yesterday. So you, we can also give recipes to match gingiva colors. So now let me demo it for you. So first we need a patient. Let me, who is, who is, who wants, who wants to be matched? <laughs> Match me. You want to see? Oh, nice color. Yeah, we can try. Yeah. It's very difficult, but it's very difficult. It's transparent. Okay, yeah. So please come here. Okay. One more. And we will click on select. Select the crown, select the natural tooth. Next, start task. Staining studio, and then we go to full monolithic staining. Okay. Okay. So first we select the brand. Okay, brand. So we'll use GC IQ1 Luster Paste. You can also do it with other brands. Okay. First we click on cervical. Okay. Then we tap on the natural tooth. So when you measure here, be, be careful not to measure too close to the gum, okay? So we find the, the body area. So it's here approximately. Okay, so now we tap on the crown. And we will do the same, okay? So it's four times LB, one time L9 in the middle. LCL1 incisally. L4, L8. Woo, nice. Great. So let's prepare everything. So L4, LB. That's for the incisal. Beautiful mix. And then uh, I would do details actually. Enough. Mm. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> yeah. Did you record it? Yeah, yeah. Okay.